All praise to the Most High, man. Right, your brothers, got any questions? No questions. All right, let's continue with the word to the Lord. Like, I'm gonna let me back off what the brother was going into, man. Give me our uh, first Timothy, the sixth chapter, and give me verse 17. Right, give me Ecclesiastes chapter 31 and one. Right, give me the book of a uh, prov. I mean Psalms chapter 52, and give me verse six. And somebody give me Zephaniah 1 and 18, and give me Proverbs chapter 11 and four. Right, so we as a people, the Lord is looking for the uh, um, rich in spirit and a poor in faith. Give me that verse in James 2 and 5. Right? Give me the book of James chapter 2 and 5. James chapter 2 and verse 5. Right? Hearken my beloved brethren. What the Lord say? Hearken my, my beloved, beloved brethren. brethren. Right? Have not God chosen the poor of this world? So the Lord has chosen the poor of this world, man. See, Yahweh Bashmeh was shy. He's a God of what the world calls the underdogs, man. The Lord takes the, the base things and exalts it to show his power, man. The most high now, you don't see the top elites out here pushing this word, man. There won't be nothing magnificent about your top Forbes uh, 500 celebrities pushing this word, man. And your top athletes, right? And the men that have a walk of fame in, in, in uh, was it, Vegas, man? Or LA. There's nothing significant about that, man. But what is significant are men who didn't graduate high school, men who didn't graduate college, men who are in the ghettos, men who live in the projects, men who live in the slums, able to come out here and push his word on a high level, man. That truly shows the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Because who else could give these brothers knowledge like that, man? Who else can give men wisdom and understanding like that? You would have to tap outside of this world and acknowledge a power outside of a Babylon, man. Which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So read that again. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not God chosen the poor of this world? Rich in faith. No, rich in crypto. Rich in faith. Rich in stuff. Rich in faith. So we're rich in faith at the end of the day, man. We're laying up treasures in heaven. You hear that, sister? All right, what's your nationality? Puerto Rican. Is your father Puerto Rican? No, my mother. What's your father? My father is white. And his father's a white man? Yes, sir. From where? I think England. England, okay, well, well we're out here for the Israelites. Right, not the, uh, not the English. Yeah, I know. Okay, all right, read on. So your mother... Relate his word to your mother. Tell your mother salvation is, is here for her. And she has to repent and keep the commandments. Okay, all right, well, any Israelites that you know that's of so-called Puerto Rican descent from their father's side, you tell them that they're Israelites. All right, you push that word for them. Oh, we don't, well, we don't have a sacramental chapter. Rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him. So the Lord is out for the Israelites, man. He's not out here for the terrorists. You got the wheat and the terrorists. Right, right. So the Most High said he chose to pour the world rich in faith to be heirs of the kingdom, man. Now who, who, who's uh, uh, rich in faith? We are, man. Right. You think these nations are rich in faith? Why do they need faith and an un invisible power? If they are the power, man. If they have everything, they have the tanks, they have the military, they have the power, they have the control, they have the media. They don't need to have faith and a power above them when they are the power on the earth, man. So that's how you know that the Most High is not dealing with everybody, right? This is how you know the Lord is only dealing with a particular group of people, man. Right? So uh, uh, go back to what I call. Right? Read, read that. Six other precepts. I got Psalms 52 and 6. Yeah, give me um, Psalms 52 and 6. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 52 and verse 6. Yeah, give me First no. Timothy. I call First Timothy 6 and 12. First Samuel, give me First Timothy chapter 6 and 12. First Timothy 6 and 12 and it reads. Start, start at 9. 9 and it reads. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. So there's no sin in being rich. You had men that were rich. Abraham was rich. Job was rich. Isaac and Jacob were rich. Right. We come from uh, rich men, man. Right. right? Abraham was rich in faith and he had wealth. He had, give me that in Genesis chapter 13 and 1. He had cattle. He had gold. Abraham was so wealthy, he had an army, man. Right. These guys don't have, where's LeBron James' army at? Where's Jay-Z's army? They might have a bodyguard. You know, they might have two bodyguards or so, but they don't have a walking standard army. Give me that Genesis 13 and 1. This is the book of Genesis. Chapter 13 and verse 1. Bring it out. And Abram went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, 
and Lot with him into the south. And Lot had money too, man. Lot wasn't a nobody. Lot had wealth. Why do you think his wife looked back? She was missing out on all of the wealth that Lot had. They had so much wealth, they couldn't even dwell together. Read on. And Abram was very rich in cattle and money. And cattle for it. And cattle. The true wealth is in natural resources, man. Right? Cattle. Because what do you get from cattle? Clothes, milk. Right. You understand garments to keep you warm. You can sell cattle. Right. You need yeah. cattle for sacrifices right. for your right. sins, man. Right. right? They're not thinking about that now. Right? The Esau just wants to collect dogs all day, man. Right. And, and let them lick them in the mouth. Right? And freak off on them, man. See, Abram had cattle. Read. And silver. And you need silver. Who, who's collecting silver now, man? Jake, they, they, want, they want the hundreds, man. Blue faces, they call them. They went Harriet Tubman on a $20 bill. Right, read on. And in gold. And he had gold. Read. And no, he didn't have that fake gold, man, from the Arabs. Right, right. I bet the corner store, who was gold, man? Right, your three carat gold. Right. He had the 18 to 24 carat gold, man. In Revelation 21, it says pure gold is clear like glass, man. That's right. That's the kind of gold that Abram had. Right, read on. And he went on his journey from the south even to Bethel. So Abram had cattle, silver, gold, he had land, and he had slaves. So true wealth, you have to have slaves, man. And Abram had uh, 318 men trained in his own house that could kill people. And Abraham hired these guys, man, and, and provided them with food that takes money, man. Water, barracks, uh, clothes. Right? That takes wealth to provide an army, man. Right. Right. Well, you can't just have guys just sitting around, man. So stop sleeping on our forefathers. So it's no sin in having wealth, but if you give your strength into that wealth and money, now you have that covetous spirit, man. So that's what this said. Joseph of Arimathea, if we didn't have rich men, the Lord wouldn't have got buried, man. Right. He wouldn't have got buried in a tomb. And they, Give me John chapter 11, uh, 19 and 39. So you need men, man. Right? There's no sin in having money, but it's a difference when you give your lust over to that money. And you start spending more time getting money than getting right with the Most High God. Right, bring that up. This is the book of John, chapter 19 and verse 39. Bring it out. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Yahweh Shai by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. About how much? About, about a hundred pound weight. weight. It's not cheap right there, huh? Right. It costs money to get that. Read. Then took they the body of Yahweh Shai and wound it in the linen clothes with the spices. And linen ain't cheap, huh? That's the top material in the ancient world. Right, read. And wounded in the linen clothes with the spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. So Nicodemus, Joseph of Arimathea, uh, Arimathea the blessings that the Most has given them, they used it to uh, 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 so like bury our Lord, huh? That he may have a proper resurrection. And they used it to take care of our people, huh? These guys ain't doing that, man. Right. They always make these, I'm going to get back. I'm moving back in the hood. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't, ain't going to be switching up. Right? Give me a contract. I ain't switching up. Hey, these guys get a $10 million deal. You never see them again, man. Right. You never see them. They might come back and lift open that truck and get turkeys out on so-called Thanksgiving, man. But they're not around, man, helping our people out. Right? right? And, and some of these contracts, they can't go help out the people. Right. Esau, tell them what you got to do with your money. Right. You can spend 25% here, 75% here, man. Right? So we got to come out of trust in, in this man's society and get true riches, which is faith, wisdom, and knowledge and understanding, huh? You got jo your job, wants you to work 70 hours a week, huh? And you give me your strength over to this job. You give me your strength over to pleasure and money, huh? You let Esau stress you out about these things, huh? Instead of giving your strength over to your Howard Bashmi Right. So go back to 1 Timothy chapter 6. Read on where you left off in verse 9. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and 9. And also called white men going into slavery. That's right, right. And little white girls. Y'all are going into slavery too. Right, right, right. right. And East Indian men with noses. Y'all right. are going into slavery three, right. huh? Right. Right. And little white babies and strollers are going into slavery. That's right, right. Right when the Lord returns. Y'all days are numbered. That's right, right. I right, read that. First Timothy 6 and 9, and it reads, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. If you get rich, you tempted, huh? Because what are you thinking about when you have $10 million? Spending it. Spending it, man. That's all you're thinking about, man. I'm a, man. I got 10 million? I'm gonna put a mil here. 200,000 here. 
You ain't gonna be reading no tub ten chapters a day, man. Uh, you gonna be you gonna be getting this money, huh? Trying to be an entrepreneur. So it, it's a scary thing when you got a lot of money. I believe the brother went into Proverbs the 30th chapter, man. Hey, I don't want ten million dollars, man. Right. Right? And that's why the most high don't give brothers all that money sometimes, man. Because right. he know what the hell you'll do with it, man. And it'll make you worse than what you are now. Right. So the Lord huh? give you what you can deal with, man. Right. Some men can handle a lot of money, man. They have that spirit and that, that wisdom, and some men can't. Right. The most I give you what you need, not what you want. Read on. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts, right. which drown men in destruction and perdition. And perdition. Right. For the love of money is the root of all evil. What the Lord say? For, For the, the love, love of money is the root of all evil. evil. How, did, how was America built? For, For the, the love, love of money is the root of all evil. evil. See that the love of money is the money's not the root of all evil. Right. But the love, love of money, money is, man. You got Jay, well, money's to no, not money, the love of money. Right, right. Right, because you're willing to do anything for money. Right. Kill, rob, lie, steal. Hey, brother, come here the word to the Lord. Come here the word. Well, brother, we the Israelites. You got to love your own people right, right. and keep God's commandments. Right. Read on. Which, while some covet after, they have erred for the, oh, from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Read. But thou, O man of the Most High, Flee, flee these things. Do what? Flee these things. The Lord said, flee these things. But we in the last days, man. We don't have a mind to be chasing money, man. Right. Hey, give me First Corinthians, hold that, chapter 7 and 29. But the Lord said, you're in this world and live it, but don't abuse it, man. Right. Right. Use his word, but don't abuse it. And give me Second Ezra, chapter 16 and 3. Read that. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 7 and verse 25. 29. 29. Salakia. But this I say, brethren... The time is short. We got 500 more years. The, the time, time is short. We got 300 more years. The, the time, time is short. Time is running out, man. Right? Time, even if you add 10 million, you don't got time to spend that, man. Time is ticking. You got a civil war going on in Russia right now. All hell is breaking loose and seditions on the earth, man. And you praying to the most how to hit the lottery. Well, let me win the Powerball. Scratch offs. Three lucky ducks. Right? And you playing all these weird scratch offs, man. Right? The most I said, the time is short. I know people that spend 10, uh, uh, 10 minutes every day doing scratch-offs. Every check they buy in the uh, 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 box. How you want it? Straight or you want a box? Right? And give me three, five, four, man. Right? I want to play my grandmother's name. Right? They're doing all types of madness, man. You said what? Yeah, I want to play my address. I knew I should have played so-and-so. Yeah, hold up. What's going on, brother? Shallow arm again, brother. Right? So read on. Damn sure holding up the line, man, with all them damn numbers on it. Right. And that long pink sheet of paper, man. Right. Right, go on. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives as be as though they had none. Yeah, they that have wives be as though they had none. But you're not going to have time to really deal with your wife how you want to, huh? Because you're going to be so into this word right now. Right, read on. And they that weep as though they weep not because right, all your sorrows are going to be turned into joy when the Lord returns and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not and the people that rejoice in this world when all hell break loose it's going to be like they didn't even have time to rejoice because all of that mirth that America's in is going to slowly turn into sorrow read and they that buy as though they possess not so you're buying things you're not going to enjoy it man. you may buy it and use it but get ready to lose it all man. And anything you got on this earth, you got to be willing to let it go at a drop of a dime. That's right. Anything, anybody, you got to be willing to let it all go, man. That's right. Or you're going to be like Lot's wife, man. That's right. So you're heaping up gold and silver and, house, and houses, and the more you heap unto yourself, the harder it's going to be for you to let go, man. Mm -hmm. So you want to have something content. That's what's all right to be in a poor state. The Lord said a mean estate is not always to be content. Because we don't have enough, you always trust in the Most High God, man. You're always thinking about hope and deliverance and salvation, right? But when you have so much, I mean, it's not on your mind, man. Right? So that's why we don't want a lot, man. Right? We want enough to kind of take care of business, be a little comfortable, and that's it, man. Right? right. right brothers and people, we don't want three billion dollars, man. No, I buy. Give me three billion. No, give me that three. We got brother. Now, give me three billion. I'll show. I'll, I'll do something with it. But what the hell are you gonna do with it, brother? You can't even count the ten. Right. Right. Three billion dollars, brother. You, you never opened the savings account. Your three billion dollars would be spent in uh, two days, man. Right. You buy guns, jewelry, weed. Right. 
What else Jay could buy? Cars. All of the jorts they never could get. You said what? Women. women. They'll give it all to their women, man. <laughs> right, body, body, mama a house. Mama, we made it. Right? right? The Lord is not dealing with that, man. Right. right, mama, I put you on. <laughs> right? See, mama, you'll never got to work again. That uh, brother seen American gangster with Denzel Washington, man. He brought his whole family from North Carolina, and they turned to a bunch of niggas, man. Right, 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 right. And one of these guys didn't even know how to live, man. He was dressing all like uh, Cuba Good and Junior in the movie, and you know he was all flashy. He was getting everybody jammed up. You can't give Jake this money, man. Right. So Jake can give it right back to the so-called white man anyway. Right. 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 So read on. And they that use this world. As not abusing it. As what? As not, not abusing, abusing it. it. Laura say. As, as not abusing it. You can't abuse this world, man. Meaning you take what, the, what this world give you and you take care of your nation. You take care of your family, man. And you pay your bills, you pay your rent, and your car break down, and, and you fix your car, and you just keep it moving, man. You're not looking for, for long-term investments in the year 2030. Right, what, what, what does life have in store for me in the year 2050? Right. Where am I going to be in the... They told me that at the plantation. Right, right. They said, look, man, we gonna, we've been here since 1940. Expect to be here until uh, to, uh, 2050. Right? So that's what they're thinking about, man. Right. We're looking for this place to go down. Right. We ain't in here, man. Right. We don't want to heap up money to stay here, man. We want this place, to, like the brother said, your 401k plan. Right? I need my pension plan and my 401k. Right? How much do I have? You're checking daily, man. Right? right? Ain't nothing wrong with kind of taking care of yourself. Right? But again, don't abuse this world, man. You don't have to work three jobs, brother. Right? You don't have to work four jobs. You have enough for one job. You just want more. And more and more, man. Then the most I give you over to that job. And now you stop wearing your fringes. Now nah, I'm just working the Sabbath. I'm just working the Sabbath. It's just one Sabbath out the month. Then it turned to two Sabbaths out the month. Right, then it turned, well, I really can't keep the pass over that the boss want me in. Damn. Then the day of atonement, I'll catch up on the day of atonement next year. Right. Right, see me next year. I'll... So then you slowly start fading away, man. Right, and that's what, uh, that's what Esau does. Y'all got him in for the words of the Lord family? Hey, brother, let me read you one verse out the Bible, brother. Five minutes. Hey, right, you there you go, brother. And you too, sister. What's your nationality? Okay, all right, what about you, brother? I'm actually Ghana, from Ghana for eight years. I came to Delaware for the rest of my life. Okay, your family's from Ghana? Yes, sir. Okay, what, what, uh, what tribe? I actually don't know. Okay, you don't know? Do y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah. A thousand percent. A thousand percent, all praise to the Mosa. Right? Did God ever call anybody Ghanaian or uh, African American or black people? No. No, right? You would agree, right? So what did God actually call us? Because there are different nations of people Give me some right 17 and 17 in the Bible. But you don't never find a term Chinese man, Arab man, Korean, Hawaiian, right? Japanese. You ever find those words in the Bible? No. So out of everybody that God made, he has given everybody a name, right? But we lost our name. Everybody has lost their name due to the people that run the earth now. They have switched up the identities of people to make it convenient for them. Now here's what the Lord said. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 17. Bring it out. For in the division of the nations, what the Lord says, for, for in, in the, the division, division of, of the, the nations, nations. So God has different nations. There is no such thing as the human race. That's what they invented in America. That's the philosophy of the world. We're just one human race and we all bleed red. But why did, why did God make everybody look different? Why do certain people have dominant genes? Why do some people have recessive genes? Why do some people have woolly hair? How come some people have straight hair? Some people have brown eyes, thick lips, wide nose. Some people burn up in the sun. Why did God do this if everybody's the same and they're all supposed to be equal? Because we're all the image of God. And I think when we think about God, we also have to understand that he's not one thing. He can never be. That's why we have different talents. That's why we have different speeches. That's why we have different languages. When people speak in tongue, it sounds similar. Whether that's in Brazil or whether that's in Africa. Because God doesn't see any man to be any different from the next. Because he all created us to be. So whether somebody is disabled, whether somebody is white, whether they're black, or whether they have Native American genes, we're all made in the image of who God has us to be. Okay, now what is, okay, if that's true, what does God look like? God doesn't look like him. You sure? In my eyes, in my eyes, 
thing about it is it, it, it's not about looks. And it's not about what you can see. The Bible says to walk by faith and not by sight. <laughs> so you have to understand that when you're walking by faith, you can look at somebody and say that you can have faith in them. Now the truth is, I think that God has us here for a reason. He has us here for different reasons. Not to all look the same, not to all be the same, but to be different. Because that's who we are, you know? Okay, now I'm going to show you something. I heard you up. I heard you up, right? Now, bring up what I call. I got Daniel 7 and 9. Come on, this is the book of Daniel. Chapter 7 and verse 9. The Bible tells you what God looks like. All right? So read this. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And you saw till thrones or kingdoms were cast down, meaning destroyed. And the Ancient of Days did sit. So we saw the Ancient of Days, which is another title for God. Daniel saw God sitting on the throne. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. He had an all white garment on. All white. Similar to what the brother had. Right? But it was whiter than that. Go on. And the hair of his head. God don't have no hair. And, and the, the hair, hair of his head. head. Like what? Like the pure wool. Does everybody have woolly hair? No. Why does God have woolly hair and made certain people with woolly hair and other people without woolly hair if it doesn't matter? Well, it matters, right? That's why he made that creation. Anything that the Lord created matters, right? Anything that was made in the six days, it serves a purpose, whether man knows it or not. Right. Things in the water, everything in the water serves a purpose, whether right. man knows it or not. Everything in the sky serves a purpose, whether man knows it or not. There was nothing that God made that he didn't put thought into, right? That there was no so, so type of uh, a scheme or plan or design behind it. Any creator, when they make a creation, there is thought put into that design. This is intelligent design by the Mosai. Right. He himself has woolly hair. I have woolly hair. The so-called white man does not have woolly hair. Right. Woolly hair is a dominant gene. They'll tell you that in these universities. We can go to University of Maryland right now, UMBC, BCC, uh, uh, Harvard and Yale, and they would tell you in their genetics class that anybody with woolly hair has dominant genes. Anybody without woolly hair, like the so-called white man, he has recessive genes. Oh, right. Now, right. Now let me finish. Hold, hold on. I let you, I kind of let you go. Let me get. Let me get one more. That's a, that's a stone cold fact. We can't deny that. Right. Now, everybody's also not equal to that point, right? So give me the book of um uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. And give ah. me Sirach thirty three and ten. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. It's the Lord talking to us. He's actually talking to y'all, us right. as a people. He's talking to the Israelites. Read on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Everybody's the same. Above all people. Everybody's the equal. Above all people. See, God's people are above all other people. This is in the Bible. Above all people. That are upon the face of the earth. Wouldn't you agree that our people are above all people? Aren't we the strongest? The fastest? Don't we make the best music? Don't we have all of the inventions? Don't we dance the best? Right? Don't we do everything dominant than these other nations? Am I lying? You're not lying, but you have to understand where we come from as a people. But where do we come from? We come from the, the motherland. What's the motherland? Africa. No. It's a continent now. But listen, what I mean to say is okay, go ahead. life started in Mesopotamia. Right? Jesus spoke Aramaic. Life did not start in Mesopotamia. Life started at the crux of what we know today as Africa, as a continent. Now we also know that the human race began in the continent of Africa and from there people dispersed. People went to the continent of different places and they began lifestyles. And that's what caused genetic diversity. Where'd you learn that at? From my school. I learned what school? it from What school did you go to? I'm studying now. I'm saying, well, what school did you go to? Well, if we all come from, I mean, the same place, we all have an education in America. I'd what school did you go, what school did you learn this in? This was in a public school. A I mean, public school. Who, who, who creates that curriculum? I mean, you can say that. I'm just asking. You, just, just, I know, just, I know, this is a straight line of question. I know. Who creates the curriculum? Is it us? It's not us. Okay, so who creates it if it's not us? <coughs> it would be people who own this. Who country. owns it? What race? You, you, would, you would say them European people, right? Okay, do you trust what the European man is giving you? I wouldn't. Okay, all right, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on real quick. If you don't trust what they're giving you, you shouldn't be confident in what you're telling me. Because you don't even trust that. That's why God is the final authority about anthropology and genetics. Right. The Lord, hold on, the Lord tells you where life began. 
The Lord tells you how, gen how genetic diversity began to be on the earth. The Lord tells you all these things. It's in the Bible, and it's the exact opposite of what you learned from the so-called white man's public education. That's right. Listen, now, listen. And we, we, we'll now, listen, prove that. Listen, now. I have enough sense, especially as a believer, to know what is being told to me. And I have the discernment to decipher what is real and what is not real. But I also understand that with God's truth, it holds that he created man from dust. And from there, we begin to live. And from there, we begin to create different Hold on, I won't finish hearing you up. No, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, but that's what I mean to say, though. So it's like when you align and you try and align U.S. education with the Bible, you always have conflict. You are right. Oh, but what I do mean to say is, is that you have to understand what this type of information tells us. You can hear that from a white man, you can hear that from a black man, but we know that life started, life began when God created and life from there Right. Well, what does that have to do with the Israelites being above all people? Because God said the Israelites at the end of the day is still above all people. That's right. That's the point of the matter. And the point of the matter is we are the Israelites. Right. Now, hold on. Let me finish this. Give me Sirach 33 and 10. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 33 and verse 10. And all men are from the ground. But like you said every man was made out of the dust of the ground. Right. All men are from the ground. And Adam was created of earth. Right. In much knowledge, the Lord hath divided them. The Lord has what? The Lord hath divided, divided them. The Lord has divided men genetically, geographically. He has divided men on the earth. Read. And made their ways diverse. Everybody's the same. And, and made, made their, their ways, ways diverse. diverse. Yeah, like the so-called Chinese man. He has what they call mongoloidism. Right? He has what they call epicanthal infos, which are the slants in his eyes. We don't have that. Right. right. We don't have uh, uh, trisomy 23 and all these genetic defects that resemble Down syndrome. We were made in perfection in the eyes of the Lord. He has made everybody diverse. He has made the so-called white man burn up in the sun. He's almost translucent. We see the blood showing forth through his skin. God made him that way according to his purpose. Right. Read. Some of them have he blessed and exalted. Some of his creation he has blessed and exalted. And some of them has he sanctified and set near himself? Some people are nigh and close unto God, but what? But some of them have he cursed. Have he what? Have he cursed. Everybody's the same. Have he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. Some people are blessed and chosen, which is us, and some people aren't. Some people are cursed. That's the way that God made them. Everybody's not made in the image of God, unless you're calling God cursed. Would you say God is cursed? But hold on, just answer the question. Hold yeah, yeah, yeah. on. Hey, hold is, on, just answer the question. Would you say God is cursed, yes or no? That question is fixated on what you said, on the crux of the very Is God is God cursed, yes or no? That I'm telling you that question is crux. Give me the book of Matthew, Go ahead, go ahead. Right? Is he cursed, yes or no? What do you say, brother? Is God cursed, yes or no? No. no. That means no. We know God isn't cursed. I would everything, go, listen, go with everything that Job went through, everything that he undergone. Job is not cursed. Exactly, but he went through many trials and tribulations. But was he cursed? No. Right. Now, he was tested. He was tested, but he was not cursed. Black people that come from the country of Africa that went from here and went to America, we went through so much. But are we cursed? No. We are, so, so we're going through the curses. You, you, first thing you said, was well, you said a thousand percent you believe in the Bible. You also said you believe in the Bible. But you're letting the white man's education be a stumbling block from receiving the word to the Lord. Either, listen, either you believe the Bible and accept the Bible, or you're going to use the foundation of white supremacy and knowledge to counteract the Bible. Because, hold on, you're saying that we're not cursed, the Bible says otherwise. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. No, no, there's no way. Hold on. I'll let, I let you talk, all right? Hold on. I'll let you talk, right? Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Get the classic in verse 15. God, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. What happens if you don't keep the commandments? That all these curses. That what? That, that all these curses. What the Lord said? That all these curses. Show what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Do you believe that God says that one people is going to be cursed? Here's the problem. Read on. 
curse shall thou be in the city. What the Lord say? Curse shall thou be in the city. Our black people, Hispanics, and Native Americans cursed in Baltimore, Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, Chicago, Miami, Houston, Seattle, Kansas City, Toronto, London, Jamaica, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Rio. Are we cursed as a people? What did the Lord say? Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city. So who is this talking about? Because God said, there is one people that's cursed in the city. If it's not us, tell me who it's talking about. Who's the context of Deuteronomy between each other? Here's what I'm going to say. Oh, Here's what I'm going to say. Sister, just answer the question. I am. Okay, go well, ahead. What I'm going to say is. Because it's 18 nations. Here's the problem. When you read that same scripture, Deuteronomy 28, verse 22, Deuteronomy 28, verse 22, you jump right to Leviticus 24, verse 22. Yeah. When you read that sacred scripture, you jump right to interpretation. You first must observe what that word is saying. You can't cherry pick out of that. Number two, you go from observation to really understanding what the interpretation is. And from there you go to application. Now when you jump from just reading that and go straight to application, you're missing the stuff. You see, you can't pick out what God has in that word. Because when you do that, that's when we have things like this. People don't understand what's being said. We have misled people who want to lead. And I, 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 listen, listen now. I, I appreciate, especially everyone up here, Sister, you're not listening. You're not listening. At all. You're not listening. We let you talk and you, you talk. Well, she, she's talking herself let her in the circle. I'm not. Let her you finish. are talking to yourself don't, in the circle. I don't think we really get into well, the ground. This is why we have a problem. Because you're, you're, you're not believing in the Bible. That's right. Right. We see where this conversation is going. I'm not believing in your words. We ask, but well, we read the words of the Lord. Right. right. I asked you a question. You didn't even what answer the question. Go back to 20 to 15. Your interpretation of the Bible is not what the word is. I'm asking you a question. God, do you you said you agree that this verse is real, that people are cursed. Yes or no? Every Read it again. Every verse is this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. You believe Reload. the Bible or you don't. Right. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, that what? That all, all these curses, curses, that what? That, that all, all these, these curses, curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Do you believe that people are cursed by God? Yes or no? Yes or no? Give me Matthew chapter 5. Give me verse 37. Right? So this is this, this how we can't, we can't have a, a, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not a no. You just spoke about interrupting, right? So you would be a hypocrite. Right. You just said she's talking. Didn't you just say, didn't you just say she's talking? No, I'm talking. He come and cut me off. Read that. Read that. That's what This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 37. But let your communication be. Yay, yay. What the Lord say? Yay, yay. Now let me tell you. Yay, yay. Here's the application. Yay, yay. Here's the interpretation. Yay, yay. Read. Nay, nay. Nay, what? Nay, nay. Nay, what? Nay, nay. Read. For whatsoever is more than these. You start going on a rent. More than yea or nay is what? Cometh of evil. Cometh of what? Cometh of evil. Cometh of what? Cometh of evil. Because it's carnal, right? It's carnal and it's not dealing with the spirit. The Bible explicitly says that there's one nation of people that is cursed for breaking the commandments. Straight there on. are 42 curses documented from verse 16 through 68 that show that we are the people that are cursed according to the Bible. But that's that white supremacy and trusting your oppressor more than the Most High God. Right? Right. Give me a please ask right. chapter 12 and 10. Right, give me a please ask in chapter 12 and 10. So we gotta stop trusting the so-called white man and trusting Yahweh Bashi man. Right. Right. And stop letting right. him be a stumbling block unto the souls of the unwise. Give me that in Wisdom of Solomon. We brought it out last night, chapter 14 and verse 11. Why right, don't I want that first? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and 11. I want to write chapter 12 and 10. Right, give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and 6. Give me Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and 11. Give me 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and 18, and 1 Corinthians, chapter 1 and 19. Read that. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 11. Read. Girl, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles. Even, a, where is the enemy at? Where is the chief enemy? Right here. Right here he is. Right here is the idols of the Gentiles. Even, that's where she get this from. Now she can say uh, public education. She can say college. She can say what she want to say. But read that again. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles. Read. Shall there be a visitation. Go on. Because in the in the great in the, in the creature of Yahweh, in the creature of Yahweh, they are become 
an abomination. Right. And stumbling block. And what? And, and stumbling, stumbling block. What's that education? And stumbling block. What's that white supremacy? And stumbling block. What's that eating white supremacy? And stumbling block. To who? To the souls of men. To the souls of men. Because right. America is a nation that believes in white supremacy. Right. This is a nation that says in God we trust. And this is the God that they're talking about. Right. So everything they give you is going to be predicated off of this image and what this image stands for. Right. Right. Their education, the sun. their science. If you don't have the sun, you're industry, telling lies. Their ways of life the devil deceived the whole world. Do this image right here. Right? Give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and 6. Right? Give me Wisdom of Solomon, 9 and 6. Right? Bring it up. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 6. Right. Get out. For though a man be never so perfect, among the children of men, what the Lord said, for though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, you can have it all in this world, man. Huh? You can be never so perfect, right? You can be flawless in the flesh. You can have six figures. You can have a master's in a, in a degree in theologian school, a theologian school, a seminary school. You can have it all, man. Huh? Though a man never be so perfect among the children of men, and she might be perfect amongst his world, but what? Yet, if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall what? He shall be nothing regarded. He shall what? He, he shall, shall be nothing regarded. regarded. That means something. He, he shall, shall be nothing, nothing regarded. regarded. The Lord don't give a damn about all of that, man. Right. Right. If you don't have the wisdom and inspiration to accept the words of truth, you're nothing regarded when it's all said and done, man. Right. Give me First Corinthians chapter uh, three and eighteen. Hold on, hold on, hold your peace. Let me get this piece up. Chapter three and verse eighteen. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in his world, if you seem to be wise in this world and you're well studied, right, with the application and uh, all of the verbs, right, right, and Esau vernacular, right, read. Let him become a fool. People have to learn how to become a fool, and that's not literal. That's uh, the most I said, and we have to humble down, man and kick out all of that worldly wisdom, all of that worldly knowledge, and all of that secular understanding, huh? And humble down that you may receive the spiritual things. Right. Read. That he may be wise, for the wisdom of this world is what? foolishness with God. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise. That they are what? That they are vain. You gotta figure it out. That they are vain. You got jammed up. That they are vain. That they are vain. Now, what's your question? You're saying, you're saying we was cursed according to Deuteronomy 28. But a lot of people look over the point where it says we was cursed because of a boss we didn't listen to. Right, we're cursed because we broke the commandments. But we didn't, by breaking the commandments of the boss. Because according to Matthew, Malachi 2 and 7, Malachi 2 and 7, the law come from the lips of the priest. Just as the word of God come from the lips of the messenger God sends. So a lot of times we stumble over what we read. And that's why Christ say the words, I speak of spirit. So if somebody is speaking from the spirit, that's the spirit that they house within. So my question would be, what would be the son of man that, that was sent out the angels to gather the people? Because if y'all gathering the people without being sent out by the son of man, then that, that'll Are be- Are you the uh, son of man? Correct. All right, I figured. Right. I figured you was the son of man. Right? I figured that you was the son of man. Right? I figured you was the son of man. Right? Now ask that last part of your question again. Yeah, say it again. I'm gonna ask one question. Say the last part of your question again. Well, why, why are we cursed? Why are we cursed or why are we gathering people without the Son of Man? Which one is it? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the question. Which one? Why are we gathering people? Give me the book of Baruch. Right, it's like your chapter 4 and give me verse 30. Right? I also want the book of Matthew, I mean Mark chapter 4 and give me verse 1, and I want that first. Right? So we are gathering people by, with the Son of Man. And give me Matthew 18 and 20. Right? I want that one too. Right? And give me the book of uh, St. John chapter 14 and 26 and St. John chapter 16 and 27. Right? So bring that up. This is the book of Mark chapter 4 and verse 1. And he began, Salakia, and he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered unto him a great multitude. So that he entered into a ship right. and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables. Right. And said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. There went out a what? A, a sower, sower to sow. sow. There went out a sower to sow. Jump to verse 14. Con. Verse 14. 
The sower soweth the word. What are we doing? The, the sower soweth the word. Who's the word? So we're sowing the spirit of Yahweh Shai in the hearts of our people. We're sowing wisdom, knowledge, and the word of God in our people. Right? But that's it's not, hold on. It's not talking about physically the Lord coming on the earth. The Lord is the word right here. Right? Right, right. The Lord doesn't have to physically manifest himself, right, for us to gather the people unto him. There's nowhere in prophecy that the Lord is going to come down and we're going to have to use the Lord to gather the people. Right. The Lord himself is going to gather the people. Right, but right. the Lord sent the sire to seal the elect in the last days before the four winds blow on the earth. Okay. Now read that. Hold on. Book of St. John. Book of St. John chapter 14 and verse number 26. But the Comforter, but the what? But the Comforter, know the Lord in the flesh. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, He shall teach you all things. And, right, He shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance. That He is the Comforter, the Spirit of Yahweh Shah. Right. Read. So the Spirit got to the, the, the Lord is a man, right? Yeah, so a man gonna teach you all aren't things. spirit? Aren't angels spirits? Aren't angels men? Okay, so yes, the spirit has a gender, right? right. Read. So, is an angel a spirit? An angel is a person. Is an angel a spirit? Give me Psalm chapter 104. You got a host and you got a Okay, give me give me Psalm chapter 104. Right? Read that. Psalm chapter 104. Psalm chapter 104. And verse... Verse 4. Who make of his angels spirits? Who what? Who make of his angels spirits? Read that again. Who make of his angels spirits? His ministers a flaming fire. His what? His, His ministers, ministers a flaming, flaming fire. fire. Angels or spirits, yes or no? No. Read it again. Who make of his angels spirits? Did the most I make his angel spirit? By giving them the spirit. Are they spirits? By giving them the spirit. He had to, why do you think he had to make Are them? Are they spirits? No. Yes or no. They have to be made. So they're not spirits. No, they have to be made okay, into well, the spirit. We know where this is going. Okay. So give me give me Daniel 12 and 1. Daniel, 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 Daniel chapter 12 and verse number 1. No. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince. The what? The, the great, great prince. prince. Are princes men or women? All right, is Michael an angel? Which standing for the Hold on, you just say he's a man, but they don't have a gender. Which one is it? Read it again. And at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, selected, such as never give me, since. Give me Daniel 10 and uh, 20. There was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Right. Michael, hold on. What does Michael mean in the Hebrew? Right. Mayaka Allah in the Hebrew, who is like Yahweh. Yeah, who is like God. Right. So yeah. Michael is an actual angel. He's a spirit. A person. But you just said it's a man. He is a man. All right, so is that a gender? Yeah, but the spirit. Okay, well, you just said they don't have it. You don't have gender. Uh, you just said that, so read that. This is the book of Jude, verse 9. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he, 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 he disputed about the body of Moses. Is Michael a he? Is Michael a he? Okay, read on. He disputed about the body of Moses. Durst not bringing against him. Against who? Against him. Who's the him? I just told you a man. No, no, who's the hell that he didn't bring a railing accusation against when he had the opportunity to? I wasn't really listening to the scripture. I was Well, you're, you're, you're the son of man. You shouldn't have to listen to it, right? Hey, you should know it. According to what you read, hold I wasn't. On, shouldn't you know it? I hold, hold on, but okay, but shouldn't you know it, though? No, so now you don't know the scriptures. Now, now you don't know the scriptures. Hold on, finish Jude 9. Finish Jude 9. Finish that again. God. Yet Michael, the archangel, when he contended with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Durst not bring against him. The him is Satan. Right. And that's classified as a him. Him. Right? Read the prince of devils. Read. A railing accusation. Does what? But, but said, the Lord rebuked thee. The what? The, the Lord, Lord rebuked thee. thee. The what? The, the Lord, Lord rebuked thee. thee. That's plain. Michael is a he, Satan is the him. You just said that angels don't have a gender, but said Michael is a man. Slow down, but 
Read that. The book of Exodus, but the angels are spirits. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, angels verse 20. Are made into Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I what have angel? prepared thee. What angel? Beware of him. Do what? Beware, Beware of him. him. Do what? Beware, Beware of, of him. him. Read Where's the hymn? Obey what him his at? voice. Or what? Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression, okay. for my name is in him. All right, that's plain. Okay, okay. Right, so that's, so plain. that's plain. That's plain. That's plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Right. Now, now, now you can ask another question. So we, we told you back in John, let's actually finish John, because you cut John, you cut the verse up before we finished it to make a false statement. Read that. Book of St. John, chapter 14 and verse 26. Bring it out. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. The Holy Spirit shall teach you all things. The Bible is, is masculine, right? Even when you see the word children of Israel, it's masculine. It's Ban Yasha'ala. It's for the sons of Israel. It's for the, our fathers, right? The Most High is a man of war. Right. The spirits are men. That's right. the will of the Most High. Right. right, so he shall teach you all things. Now you have wisdom personified as a woman, but wisdom is how shaft you got to to him. Read. And bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever so I have said unto you. So we have been directly inspired by the comforter to gather the saints back to the most high God by the word of the holy one. Right, give me that in Baruch. They shall gather together okay. by the word of the holy one. So, right, so we're going to get, get one more. We're going to let you. Get your question in, or you was interrupt. You wanted you wanted to say something. Yeah, yeah, silent, right? I would say say what you gotta say. You are gonna erase the scripture where it say the Son of Man gonna send his angels out. You are gonna erase that scripture, right? Why, why would we erase that scripture? But well, well, where is y'all Son of Man that sent y'all out? The Lord is in the third heaven. But he supposed to send you out. Did he talk to you or did you read the book? Yeah, and you, and you, John 15 and hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you right? read no, the no, book? Hold on. You know, give me Romans 10 and give me verse uh, 13 first. Romans didn't you read the book and walk out here? You didn't hear a voice. He asked the question. No, you didn't let him answer. ask the question in full, bro. You keep on cutting him off. Are you a disciple? Be, de be decent, is he bro. One of your disciples? We're having a conversation. Are right. you a disciple? I'm, I'm a grown man. And are you a disciple of him? Obviously. All right, all right. Just give him a chance to speak to you, that's Bring all we ask. Right, right. right. This is supposed to be a conversation, right? Okay, okay, hold I look on. like you, don't hold I? On, hold on. I look like you, don't Tell I? Tell them faith coming by hearing. Yeah, yeah. Joseph looked like looked like the Egyptians. So them faith. Are you just talking to me, or are we having a conversation? And hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, barely. Their sound went into all the earth, and, what? and their words. Unto the end of the world. Who's the they right here? Whose words were sent to the end of the world? The prophets. The apostles of prophets. Who sent them? Christ sent them. Christ sent the disciples out. Right. So they didn't read the, the book. Hold on. We are the disciples that have been sent out to push the word to the end of the world. Christ ain't sent y'all. You read 14. the book and you got Christ off the couch 14. and came out here. How then shall you they hear Christ's in, voice? In whom they have not believed. And how shall they believe in him? Of whom they have not heard. See it again. Uh -huh. Read it again. How tell them read it again. Read. Tell them read again. How should they preach except they be sent? Except they be what? Except, except they be sent. Why are we out here? No, but go back. Except they be sent. Why are we in the harbor? Except they be sent. That you won't go back. Except they be sent. You been sent by the Most High hey, God. Can you read that again? Bah, shiver, 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 bah, shiver,
Book of Matthew. It's all it's all foreshadowing of what's going on right now. It's a so foreshadowing. You, so so the Lord was never crucified. No, it's nope. a foreshadowing. When is the uh, Lord gonna get so you have, you have to get crucified? Yeah. Right now. Right now. Okay, we gotta get crucified. Yeah, right now. You ever heard right the You crucified. I was them trying right to now. figure out the breakdown. Right, right, right. Hold on. Right? I, I didn't want to believe you were going to go that route. But, How do you bear your cross daily? But nevertheless, right? How do you bear your cross daily? The book of Acts. Where's your fringes at? Damn. The book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse number 9. Wow. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. He was what? He, he was, was taken, taken up. up. He was what? He, he was, was taken up. up. So this is after the Lord was already lifted up on a cross. Right, right. The apostles saw him after Pentecost, and he was taken up in a chariot. Did this happen? Okay, well, well, what is this talking about then? It's talking about someone being lifted up because right now you don't see me in my glory. Okay, what's the cloud? Can I, can I finish? Can I, can you right, gonna let right, me finish? Right, we'll, we'll let you finish. I know you got a microphone. We'll so, let you finish. You, so, should, you should have a voice of many waters. Right, 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 it shouldn't be, I know you got a microphone. Right, I mean, right, it shouldn't even right. shatter this, man. Right. This should be destroyed right now, man. Right, 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 you should come in order if you were just like Hey, hey, hey. back in 30 BC, talking over all over everybody. You can't even have a conversation with you. You ready look, know it? Look, Ooh, look, yeah, look, come on. Come so for on. one thing, the Son of Man must first be rejected by the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees, okay. and then be raised to his glory. Okay. So this wasn't talking about somebody leaving and going in the sky. This is talking about somebody being raised from the earth from all those who pierced them with their words, because your tongue is a sword. So when you read Revelation 1 and 7, you are talking about the Son of Man being lifted up, just as Moses prophesied. Not according to your vain imagination. Okay, so who is Acts 1 and 9 talking about? You're what talk, man is this? You're talking to him. Read it again. Read it one more yeah, time. Read, read it one more time. And, and then Acts 1 and like, verse number 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. When did this happen? It's going to happen. This is going to happen. So, yeah. Acts, so Acts, it was just that Acts never happened. John never happened. Luke never happened yet. Paul, no. Paul never happened. Paul, we, so Paul has to be born. Paul is Saul in the Old Testament. So Paul is Saul in the Old Testament. Yeah. But okay, bro. Paul, right now you got to follow is he, up your heart. Is he going to travel to uh, uh, Corinth, Thessalonica? You doing that right you now? You don't know what's going on. You doing that? You don't know brother, what's going you on. Paul right now. Read. You, you but Paul was sent by. Hold on, read. You killing our people with your tongue. And when he gets spoken these things, so you have to. So hold on. So you have to encounter Paul and kick him off the horse. I'm asking, no, you, you have to do that, right? I ain't got to kick him off, he's going to fall off. He's going to fall off, yeah. he's going to tell you what to tell him. He's going to hear the message. What's the message? We what gotta I'm telling go you right now. No, 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 what's, what's the Egypt message you're going to tell him if it's prophecy? Brother, Come on, man. Seriously. I can't even, I can, you won't even give me two minutes to say nothing. So you how can I give you a message? Hold on, I'm asking you a straight up question. I'm giving you a straight and up answer. Hold on, and this is prophecy. That means you should know... That the Lord Himself is going to speak words to Paul. How are you going to tell the Lord what He should know? Because it's prophecy, right? We you have know, it here. The book is a sealed book, according to the, according to the Bible. You, you're, uh, 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 I'm, I'm, son of man, I guess. Like, who, what do you go by? What's your name? Yaju. Yaju. You have a tattoo on your arm that says MOB. What does MOB stand for? Mind over body. Right, that was mind over body. Why'd you get a tattoo? Oh, son of man. The son of man was young and dumb, huh? Yeah. Give me Luke 12 and 52. Hold on, hold on. I mean 2 and 52. Hold on. The son of man was young and dumb. Blasphemy, man. Right. Wasn't he with the Right, read that. Yeah, give me 1 Peter 1 and 19. The book of Luke, chapter 2 and verse number 52. I thought the Lord was in the temple talking to the ancient men and the Pharisees and the doctors, asking them questions. Where's the account of the Lord being young and dumb in the Bible, man? Right. Oh, the Lord had his young and dumb right. age. That's madness, man. Right. And such blasphemy. Read that. And Jesus increased in wisdom. He was young and dumb. And Jesus increased in wisdom. His dumb age. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. And what? And stature. No account of him being young and dumb. And what else did he do? And in favor with God and men. Favor with God and men. First Peter one and nineteen. First Peter chapter one and verse nineteen. But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb. Without blemish and without spot. Are tattoo spots and blemishes? No. Yeah. Huh? No. Information they're not, they're not, they're not spots Information and blemishes. Is. is getting a tattoo a sin? No. Say it again. No. No. So say that again. Back, bro, say, it again. Right, so, so no. say it again. Say it again. Give me no. Luke is 19. Right? No. So we double know that. No, you double down oh, on it. No, we yeah. double down. We can, we can teach people can to get tattoos. Can I double down on it too? Right, read. I don't teach people this to get tattoos. This is the book tattoo. of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 28. He shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, 
nor print any marks upon you. Nor print any marks upon you. Talk about tattoos. What's the mark of the beast? No, I said no. I said no. Hold on. What's the I'm mark at, of the beast? Okay, well look. Is is that talking about tattoos? No. What's so the mark? So we can get tattoos. I, no. What's the, hold on, you just said it's not a sin though. It's not a sin. So we can do something. You, yeah, you get you get tattoos, but what what is the mark of the beast? What's going on? What is the mark of the beast? What is the mark of the beast? Son of man, right? You should, you should be severing the righteous from the wicked right now. What is the mark of the beast? If you was to say, hey, you should no be destroyed. It didn't say place. tattoo. It said a mark on the skin. It said, what is, so let's, let's what is the mark of the, the little, beast? With the and little right. word play. It What's the mark of the tattoo, beast? It said mark. Now explain. It Expre okay, so, print. Okay, print. It didn't say tattoo. So explain it with your higher understanding. What's the mark of the beast? It didn't say tattoo. So explain it, brother. What's the mark of the beast? Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Once again, he shall not think ever print. thought at the harbor we would have to debate this. Tattoo and print is something else. Right. We never thought right. years at the harbor that we have to. We spent years and years defending the Son of Man, man. Right. right. Willing to die for the Son of Man. Right. right. Now we got this guy who says the Son of Man. Right. With no fringes on, man. Right. Saying that, that you could get a tattoo and it's not a sin, man. Who don't know the prophecies coming to pass. Right. Who don't know that he created Michael to be a man. Right. Who don't know that the spirits that he created before Genesis 1 and 1 are actual men. Right. Absolute sickening, man. And his apostles are even worse, man. Right. Read that. Uh, Leviticus 19 and 28. Watchmen, you shall not, not make even any you cuttings said. in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Hold on, you saying you hope we record? You're right next to the Son of Man. What are you talking about? Hold on, man. We didn't the say not none of that, bro. You know that. We didn't right. say not none of what you said. You hope this is recorded. Okay. Yeah, yeah next I, I hope it is. Listen, Son of Man. Because like right. you said, right. you didn't you say don't none of that. Son of we men. You don't Prophets believe are men. You don't believe we he didn't know. Say not we know. He said the spirit know. doesn't have a gender. We don't know. believe that. Yeah. We, we know. don't believe nothing. <clears throat> this is the Hebrew word for tattoos. H seven zero eight five quaqua, which means incision imprintment tattoo 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 tattoo. So I, I, got, I got one more question, brother. Uh, then, yeah. I, then I'll leave y'all alone. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse number 28 in the NIV. Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves. Or what? Or put tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. He is the Lord. I am the Lord. Man, so that's a too. My ACL surgery is a sin too. Chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. What the Lord say? For there shall arise false Christ. Read that again. For there shall arise false Christ. Who is this man? For there shall arise false Christ. Who is this blasphemy? For there shall arise false Christ. Who is the true son of man say? For there shall arise false Christ. And false prophet. And what? And false prophet. And who? And false prophet. Y'all just loud, bro. Shall show few, shall show great signs and wonder. And so much that if it were possible, 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 if it the very elect. They shall what? They shall deceive the very elect. They shall run. They shall deceive the very elect. This is madness out here. Okay, okay, so brother. Madness out here. Hey, so brother. Hopefully, we're, we're the hopeful elect. We don't know if we are the elect. Hopefully, because we haven't been deceived by this man. Okay, so right, right, man. this man. Hey, so oh, we, we gotta leave. Y'all gotta forsake him. Oh, oh, so what y'all got to do with y'all Hold on. We are gonna keep now, hold on. I, I, I receive your right. 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 message. So what done. do you do when you right. wrong? Look at Matthew twenty four six. Receive my message. I received yours, right? What you so what? What happens when you wrong? What happens when I'm wrong? Yeah, what happens when I'm wrong? Hold on. I'm pissed. We can live with that, right? Take a knee. Piss, right? Take a knee. So you gonna fulfill prophecy even when you piss, right? Because the book said, even in your disgrace, you're going to bend and profess in the end, aren't you? In your disgrace. Where is that at? Uh, where is it? You read it? Where is it? Oh, bro, what does it you say, uh, say that again oh, and then oh, show me the scripture. So you ain't going to bend oh, your say knee. Say what you just said again and then show uh, me the scripture. You're going to bend right. your knee in disgrace show and profess. Show me that. Show me that in the Bible. Every time we'll show confess me every knee. No, 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 no. Hold on. No, no, no. Show That's me that. It, even in your disgrace, you're going to confess. Show me that. Where's the precept? Bro, just read it. No, no, you ask him where it is. Ask who? 
said, this is my head priest, right? Every, yeah, ask him. Okay. Every time. Uh, he's right here. Okay, I'm saying. Every time we'll confess and everything. No, no, no. What, what did you no, say? No. That's not what you said. You said, said taking said a knee. He was speaking on saying, you're going to bow and you will get this your And your disgrace, right? You got right. to right. get your apostles in order. Right. right. Get your disciples in order. If you deny Christ, Christ, Christ the 24, you are I guess y'all don't read Maccabees. I guess y'all don't read Maccabees. Why would I know, man? Read that. Yeah. And you shall hear of wars and rumors. Verse three. Verse number three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, Madness. the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world. What's one of the signs of the coming? What's the first thing that the Lord said? And the signs of the coming? The signs of the coming is divorce. Is this prophecy right here? The voice. Hold on, is Matthew 24 prophecy? Everything in the Bible is prophecy. So that, that is happening. Nothing in the Bible happened. Everything is prophecy. All right, so, okay, the only so thing, you tell me the only what you're about to say. The only thing happened is our forefathers rejected the law. Okay, okay, okay well them. tell me what you're about to say then. Because it's written. I'm, I'm not, I didn't write the Bible. I fulfill oh, the Bible. The, the Bible is the will. Hold up, oh, so can you, can you just slow down with, I know you got a microphone, just, just drop it well, for a little well, bit. Yeah. Can you just drop the microphone well, for no, a little no, bit? No, I'm not going to drop yeah, the I know, because you don't want to have a conversation. Why does the son of man ask you what I should do? He's scared to have a conversation. Should he do it? Right. He's scared. Why does the son of man have to hey, ask me? Hey, right? Hey. If I'm going to get something, then you're not, you're not the Lord. Hey, the son of man, you are not, you are not, you don't exhibit any trait like the son of man. The son of man going to plead with you face to face. You are a shadow of your former self, bro. The son of man going to plead with you face to face, right? Ain't that what the scripture says? Where, where is that going to happen? Ain't he going to plead with you? Where is that going to happen? Face to face, right? Where? Where? Face to face. But where at? What location is that going to happen? The location wherever you show up at. No. That's the second wilderness. Y'all coming to the but y'all ain't showing no fucking bro. Come on, man. First of all, y'all want to have a conversation. You can go in the second Take heed that no man deceive you. You smoke weed, law. You want me to roll you one? You smoke weed. want me to roll you one? See that? Son of man wants to, to roll the roll the service of the Lord one. Y'all smoke with him? With oh, the seeds. Blast me, Are you not high right now? No, I ain't high right now. Are you high? But I should be. I should roll up one right now. Can I roll up one right now? And Jesus exactly answered and said unto them, exactly Take heed that no man deceive you. What the Lord say? Take, Take heed that no man deceive you. Read that again. Take heed that no man deceive you. This is for y'all. Read it one more time. Take heed that no man deceive you. Read. For many shall come in my name. The Lord say. For many shall come in my name. One that are hundreds of people have come in the name of the Lord. I come in. I come in. I come in the Father's name. Saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. So that's sit on that, man. I come in Yahweh Bashmi Abashan's name. Right, huh? right, straight right, up and down. Right, 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 straight up and down. We come in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, huh? Right, right, Thus right, said the Lord. Because the Lord has given us his name. Right? Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 12 and 2, huh? Right? You don't know. You don't know what that's talking about. You have no idea what's going on. You don't know what's going on. Read that. So the only son, the son only know the father. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Give me the book of Acts chapter 4 and 12. Give me Hebrews 9 and 15. Give me Colossians chapter 3 and 21. Give me the book of Isaiah chapter 12 and 2. Give me the book of Psalms chapter 83 and 18. Give me the book of Matthew chapter 1 and 21. Give me the book of 2 chapter 7 and 28. But y'all won't even answer the scripture. This is the book of John chapter 17 and 26. Bring it out. Hey, I have the great Your elder told me to use the scripture. I use the scripture. Thy name. Thy name. Thy name. Thy name. Thy name. Who declared unto them the name? Christ gonna bring you the name. Read that. This is the book of John, chapter 17, and verse 26, in red letters. And I have declared. So this is talking about you? Yeah, I, I am. So that's you. Yeah. So you're gonna do this. Yeah. When? Okay, when are you gonna do this? <laughs> and I have declared it to them thy name. And I will declare it. That the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. So that's not talking about you, man. The Lord has given us the Father's name. Right. Right. And the Father has revealed the Son of the Son of Man is Lord. You know the name of Yahweh. You know the name of Yahweh. So y'all so 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 reading about things. yourselves. Read it. So y'all reading about yourselves. Right? According to Revelation 9 and 12. Can you read that? Behold, God is my salvation. 
I will trust on, and what, not be you afraid. Priest, you Christ? But the Lord you Christ, that power. For the what? For the Lord that power. For the what? For the Lord that power. It's my strength and my soul. Where was Christ crucified? He's being crucified right, right now. Where, we, according to the prophecy, right? Spiritual if the, hold on. If this Spiritual is prophecy, Egypt. Spiritual Egypt. Listen. Spiritual Egypt. I just hold told on. You. No, 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 listen, listen. He was if the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is prophecy, right? He was crucified in spiritual Just, Egypt. Is that prophecy? Is Matthew through John prophecy? Yes. No. All right. In the book I of actually, Matthew, where does it say the Lord was crucified? I don't know. Well, I don't, I don't know where it says. Well, you don't know what's going on. Matthew. You don't know. He was crucified you in spiritual Egypt. You don't know what's going on. I don't right? know what's going on. You, know, you, you, you have know no what, idea what's going on. I don't know. But he was crucified in spiritual Egypt according to right, Revelation. But you, you, like I said, you don't understand what's going on. I bet you ain't really? deny that. I bet you ain't deny that. Read that. For the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my soul. Right. Y'all need y'all need to repent, man. Right. But give me Matthew 12 and 31. I got to say something about that, man. Right, give me the book of Matthew 12 and 31. You need to stop being his disciple, right? right. right. You need to fall away. I know that's you need how you to fall feel. Away from I know him, that's how you feel. And coming to this truth. But I got right? I got my you need head. To repent where's your, your head? Bro, where's and your you head? Brother, you need Bro, to where's where's your, your head? Where, where's and your head? This guy, if this is the if this is the book, this man, man, you I'm asking book, right? you a question now. Where's your head? Where's the person that you follow? Where's your head of your church at? Where's your profession at? Where's your testimony at? Now you can scream to us with this guy dang mic, but are you gonna have a conversation with your brother? Huh? I'm still here. I'm here. I'm still here. I'm my own man, brother. I'm my own man. Oh, you didn't want to have a conversation with me, right? Right? I'm the weakest, bro. I look like y'all. So y'all gonna be going me fighting for me? This no on me. And see, I'm my own man. Where is the head of your church? John would never. Where's your Christ? Where is he? Talk to Solomon, chapter one. I just want to know. I'm just one of your brothers. Chapter one and verse Where one. is your Christ? Draw me, Lord. Where? Draw, Draw me. me. Draw me. me. And we will run. We will run after thee. I'm an old man. We will run after thee. I'm about to follow him. We will run after thee. I'm about to follow him. 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 I'm
Right, right. So this is nothing but evil speaking and the corruption of man. But like I said, man, that's a we know we know who that guy was when he came up here. Man. Right, right, right. Soon as we saw, him, we knew we knew their deal, man. Right. right, but we don't we don't give our strength over to these demons, man. We let your hollow boss never shot work and just cut him and dismantle him right. as he deems fit, man. So read that. Second Timothy chapter three and verse twelve. Read out. Oh. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ. Yeah, yeah I was shot. Shall suffer persecution. But what? But evil men. But who? But, but evil, evil men. men. But, but evil, evil men. men. Where's the other ten at? But, right, where's the other ten at, man? Right, 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 yeah. Should he with twelve? Right. I thought the apostles was men. Why, uh, whose woman is that, man? Right, right. Well, I thought the Lord rode with ten mighty apostles, man. And they should be out here doing signs and wonders out here, man. Right, right. I thought the apostles was going to and fro and they had no time to eat, man. Right. Right? I thought these men were the men of the Lord, man. Right. Read on. But evil men. See, and when the Lord returns, he's going to kill a lot of people, man. Facts. He's not going to come to talk. The Lord ain't coming to debate, man. Right. He's not coming to debate the servers that he sent out here to defend his name and contend for the faith. Read it one more time. But evil men and seducers. What is that, man? But, but evil, evil men, men and seducers. seducers. Show what? Show wax worse and worse. Show what? Show, Show wax worse and worse. worse. Doing what? Deceiving and being deceived. Give me Ezekiel 14 and 9. Right? Give me Job 12 and 16. Right, deceiving and being deceived, man. Huh? So we, 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 in one manner, we look at that and we rejoice because we know it's a sign closer or a step closer to getting out of here, man. Huh? And sisters, y'all got, or sister, brother, y'all got to repent. Right, right. Right, at least take a flyer. Take a flyer. Right, at least take a flyer. Y'all don't want to take a flyer? Take a flyer, brother. The take brother want to fly. Take a flyer, brother. brother. Flyer. All praise to the most high. Take the fire, brother. There you go, brother. But he's going to take it, though. Right? You don't rule that man. Right? That's his own man, man. Right, right. Be a man, there ain't no application with that, sister. Right. We're going to take that flyer, man. Right? So read that.